Hi there, friends. It's Mrs. Baylor back with a new star story. All right, friends. So today the title of our story is The Cazuela That the Farm Maiden Stirred. That's the name of the story. And the author is Samantha R. Vamos. She wrote the words for the story. The illustrator is Rafael Lopez. He drew the pictures. So the, there are some words in the title that you may not know. One word is Cazuela. Okay. So yesterday we learned that people around the world speak different languages. The word Cazuela is a Spanish word. It is the word that Spanish speaking people use for a cooking pot. Oh, so this must be her Cazuela. Okay. And another word you may not know is a maiden. So a maiden is a young woman. So we see a young woman here and she must be holding a cazuela, right? Her pot. So now we know that the story is about a young woman who stirred a cooking pot. Let's look at the cover of the story, the cazuela that the farm maiden stirred to see if we can get some ideas about the story. All right, let's put on our thinking caps. Let's think, think, think. What do you think the story may be about? Go ahead and tell me or your learning coach at home. Okay, so when we read the story, we're gonna find out if your ideas are inside. Let's get started, friends. These are beautiful pictures. This is the pot that the farm maiden stirred. This is the butter that went into the cazuela that the farm maiden stirred. This is the goat that churned the cream to make the mantequilla that went into the cazuela that the farm maiden stirred. This is the cow that made the fresh milk while teaching the cabra that churned the crema to make the mantequilla that went into the cazuela that the farm maiden stirred. Okay, let's stop here really quick. Hmm, so I see that the maiden is milking the cow. She will give the milk to the goat to make butter. Where do you think the goat will put the butter? Go ahead and think, think, think. Where do you think the goat is going to put the butter? Huh, you think so? All right, let's keep reading to find out. This is the duck that went to the market to buy the sugar to flavor the leche made fresh by the vaca while teaching the cabra that churned, to the, churned the crema to make the mantequilla that went into the cazuela that the farm maiden stirred. This is the donkey that plucked the lime and carried the pato that went to the mercado to buy the azu azucar to flavor the leche made fresh by the vodka while teaching the cabra that churned the crema to make the mantequilla that went into the cazuela that the farm maiden stirred. All right, so let's think, think, think. What do you, what do the donkey, the duck and donkey get for the cazuela from the hen? Remember what they get? What did the duck and the donkey get for the cazuela from the hen? Okay, let's see. This is the hen that laid the eggs. Oh, they got eggs from her. While grating the limon plucked by the burro that carried the pato that went to the mercado to buy the azugar to flavor the leche made fresh by the vodka while teaching the cabra that churned the crema to make the mantequilla that went into the cazuela that the farm made and stirred. Oh my goodness, all of those Spanish speaking words are kind of, they are kind of hard to read if you don't speak Spanish. Let's keep reading together. You guys are doing such a good job. This is the farmer who planted the rice while tending to the gallina that laid the huevos while grating the limon plucked by the burro that carried the pato that went to the mercado to buy the azugar to flavor the leche made fresh by the vaca 
while teaching the cabra that churned the crema to make the mantequilla that went into the cazuela that the farm maiden stirred. My goodness, look at all the rice. When the mantequilla from the cabra, the leche from the vaca, the azugar from the pato, the limon from the burro, the huevos from the gallina, and the ar ar ars ar arroz, arroz from the campencillo were all mixed in the cazuela. The cabra gave out spoons, the gallina sang a tune, the pato beat a tambor, ooh, a tambor, the burro plucked a banjo, the vaga shook a maca, um, maraca, maraca, and the campesino and the farm maiden danced. And no one watched the cazuela that the farm maiden stirred. The gazuela simmered and sputtered. It bubbled and burbled. Okay, so after the maiden puts all of the ingredients in the cazuela, everyone is dancing and playing musical instruments. No one watches the pot as it cooks. Uh-oh. The cazuela sputters and bubbles. What do you think's going to happen next? Go ahead and tell me or your learning coach at home. <gasps> think so? All right, let's see what happens. Just when it was about to burst, the farm maiden cried, hey! And the cabra, vaca, pato, burro, galina, campesino, and farm maiden all stirred the cazuela one last time. When the cazuela was finally ready, everyone said, gracias for the ar arroz con leche, that the campesina stirred. Okay, so let's stop here. The farmer and the animals all said gracias to the farm maiden for making the arroz con leche. They said thank you to her for making rice pudding. So gracias means thank you in Spanish. And arroz con leche means rice pudding. Wow, we learned some new words in Spanish today. There they go, all to say thank you and goodbye. So in this story, the farmer and the farm animals all pitch in to help the young woman make rice pudding. Think, think, think. What word did we hear over and over again in the story that means young woman? Do you remember? Yeah, young woman is called a maiden in this story, right? Yeah, so let's say some of the Spanish words in the story and find out what they mean. Are you guys ready? Let's turn to some of them. So we know that a pot is a cazuela, okay? A cazuela. And butter, butter is mantequilla, mantequilla. Okay, and then the goat, how we say goat is a cabra, okay? And we say a duck. There's the duck. What's the duck? How do we say duck? A duck is a pato. A pato. And the grocery store is a mercado. Okay, those were all. And a lime. A lime that the donkey is plucking is a limon. A donkey is a burro in Spanish. Burro. Oh my goodness all of these cool Spanish speaking words that we are learning, right? And they're stirring and stirring that arroz con leche. Remember that means rice pudding in the cazuela, the big pot, okay? Very cool. So we learned lots of new Spanish speaking words today together. That was neat. I really enjoyed that together. All right, friends. So I'll be back again soon to retell this story with you and I'll see you then. Bye everyone.